Today I've got a technique in No Man's Sky to make a lovely smooth bridge. The technique was shown to me by Dark Hellboy with a few minor changes by myself. I've already pre-set up the framework. I've got a raised floor panel on each side and four floor panels between the centre column, two wall panels and two short walls. But of course you can extend this to the length that you desire, within reason that is. First things first, we're going to place two guys doors as so. Green state floor panel and reverse wire glitch by hitting the place and wire button at the same time and pull the wire to the garage door. Let's do the reverse wire glitch on the other side. Let's delete the garage door and then place a floor panel. Green state another floor panel then reverse wire glitch by hitting the place and wire button at the same time and attach it to that end of the angled wire. Delete those two bits of scaffolding and the important bit, reverse wire glitch from that side of the wire. Now let's do some of the setup for the other side. Place a floor panel and then reverse wire glitch to that end of the angled wire. And then the important bit for this side, reverse wire glitch from the side closest to you to the center of that wire. Delete the scaffolding. And the reason you came in from two different directions at both ends is so the wire can face inwards. Now move the build camera so you can get the correct wire. Select the light box and then go into the wire menu. Then banjo wire glitch by hitting the place and wire button at the same time on the connector point. Then place six more light boxes above the one you just banjo wire glitched. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. As you'll notice, the electrical connector points are facing inwards. Now I'm going to color code the ones I want to glitch to. But if you want to make a longer bridge, you may have to have a slightly higher selection of boxes, a taller center, and glitch to different light boxes to create a much smoother and more angled bridge. Right, let's place a floor panel and then another one. Now we're going to green state a short wall and reverse wire glitch and pull the wire to the first light box. We're going to do that for the other side. Now we're going to banjo wire glitch a floor panel and of course, banjo wire glitch a floor panel on the other side. Attach two small floor panels as so. Delete the large floor panels and put the large floor panels back but half a step out. We can remove those small floor panels now. Now for the floor panels we've just placed, we can now reverse wire glitch from them to the next set of light boxes. Then banjo wire glitch again from those points in the wires. Place some small floor panels to the ones we've just wire glitched. Oops, I accidentally deleted that one, but it's easy to reinstate. But let's finish setting these two up first. Okay, let's reinstate the one I messed up. Okay, now that one's in place, let's carry on with the rest. And I'll be back when we get to the last set. Now the last angled floor panels are in place, now we can simply snap some floor panels to that one. It might be easier to do it from underneath to get the correct snap points. Let's repeat that for the other side. As you can see, I've pre-placed a stone floor panel 
and I am now simply going to snap stone floor panels to the curve. You could make the curve out of the material that you want to use, but to make it easier for you to follow along, I thought I would do it this way. Now I can delete the curve scaffolding and start to dress the sides. Let's place short walls on the edge. There's another set of short walls at the top of them. Delete the ones underneath. Attach some stone arches to those short walls. With the first set of stone arches in place, we can delete the short walls. Attach more arches so we get that nice effect at the top. If you wish, you can create a central tower like I'm doing. I think I'll use that roof piece. And create a tower at either end. Now you have it, a lovely smooth bridge. Thank you Dark Gailboy for showing me that technique. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Oh and the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.